Very nice. So, how much do you use in starting this business? Starting this month food, or probably eight months food, I can sell in more than thousand. Um, thousand for fun there, bro. to help anybody who is ready to go into this business. Okay. Maybe if the person wants to start, but the person doesn't have a capital, are you ready to help the person? Of course, it depends. That one depends on, you know, uh, uh, sacrificial and then a uh, big. Hey guys, welcome back to another Bangui video. If it's your first time stopping by, my name is Abdulam Hajara. Call me Barista Angel and don't forget to subscribe and like this channel and here over here we'll be talking about young young african our future lies in our own hands so this is the first person i'm interviewing today and i'm sure you like it from the topic below you know you know what you are expecting i know so can you please introduce yourself to my audience uh, i'm mustafa yusuf watara a student of university of cape coast mm. student of university of cape coast and I ask you, you are a student at the same time you are a worker. Yeah. What work do you do? I, besides being a student, I'm a teacher. You're a teacher. And then I'm a, a, a businessman as well. Wow. Uh, animal rear, and then involved in animal buying and selling. Wow, that's very nice. So, when did you start this business of animal rear? I started animal rear. From infancy, I inherited it from my parents. Wow, that's very nice. So, how do you manage this business plus school? No, you are a student at the same time, you are an animal. Yeah, uh, managing this business since I had it from them, I have other siblings around me in the house. So, mostly I don't do it alone, I do it by consulting them and then with their cooperation, everything moves on successfully. So, if I'm in school, they are home to take care of the animals and then do the nursery and plus I con uh, my consultation. Because day in day out, I try to call them, to tell them do this or do that. Do that. Okay. You know, sometimes you know, some people have actually come from a background whereby maybe they do some businesses and then they hear yeah, it is like the way you just said. But some don't do it. So what motivated you? For you to say, okay, I'm going to start this business on your own. And then you know, uh, the starting business is just like man deciding to, to work, and, okay. and it is like uh, what define my man is his or her work. Okay. We can't be there without work. If there is somebody who is there without work, it's like uh, a water body without aquatic animal. So automatically, man must do something for a living. Okay. And then uh, we think of it, uh, going to school to a higher level. And then everything about schooling is about money. So if you don't work uh, somewhere to get money to fund your education, I don't think you are. So able. money actually motivated you to start this exactly. business. Exactly. <laughs> I see. So <laughs> exactly. if I, I, you know, animal rearing is very like it's very special rearing animal, yeah. and then these animals they need more care. Yeah. So how do you care for them since you are in school? Yeah. So how do you care for them in the house? Since I am in school, caring for them animals, as you said, they are they indeed want to be. Uh, the, with them. Uh, we are the one somebody to always be with them because they always also need help yes they need a lot of help so that mm. it, when it comes up giving them water you know giving them food then you should play an important role there so as i am in school the those in the house they are always trained for that and then it is like they don't open their mouth to communicate by when they behave we know so if the need arises for anything to be done, they they communicate to you, and then you know that this is what they are looking for, and then you, it, it, it should be done. That's very them. nice. So, how much do you use in starting this business? Starting the business, we have type of animal rearing, and then the type of animal we, because starting the business, we cannot just go into it like that because we have bears, rearing of bears, and then we have small ruminants, and then as well as the the big ruminant. So. As a starter, probably you cannot just think of doing something because we start to be great. We don't be there to you know to just think of you know being great just like that. But you have to start and then you 
from your starting then you become somebody so you can if you think you are a starter you don't have much money don't say with this one i will wait until how will you wait and then it will be so, so you, you how much do you use i i started probably with thousands five hundred thousands six and seven hundred around wow. can help me to do with uh do a bed wearing wow. so if i start with the bed wearing before that money will finish, I will automatically get something out of it and sure. then I will sell and then I it will, very, it will help me sure. to continue very with the work sure. successfully without having any stop. Wow, that's very nice. So, if I may ask, at this point, how many animals do you have? Mm, at this point, mostly we animal rare, we have a there is a particular character in us. Okay. We don't count our animals and then count. you ask how, how, how many are they. So but if one is missing, how will you know? I will know. When they are coming, when I look at them, one is not there. I know because it is like the way I know them from this is the mother, this is the, you know, the mother, then the descendant, the descendant, the descendant. I can tell how many mother do I start. I started the rearing with probably with one mother and then probably with three mother, four mother, four mothers. So with the four mothers, then I will begin to see how many children I this one produce, how many I this one to produce, how many I this one to produce. So if you ask me to mention the uh, number of animals, okay. I don't mention the animals. Let me guess but, before but, a thousand. Yeah, but, <laughs> I, it, but when you ask me to count the animals, I will, I will take, it will take me some few minutes, I will do, tell you the number of the animals. Wow, that's so fantastic, man. Good, good. Yes, that's really nice. So how much do you sell one animal, like one good? If I uh, uh, selling, selling, selling animals, rearing, and then animal price depend on the farmer. Okay. If the farmer is a serious farmer, and then it can even within six months, I can sell within a, a annual of six month old or probably eight month old, I can sell in more than thousand, um, thousand five hundred or so thousand. thousand. Probably so thousand five hundred uh, like for a uh, sheep. That is eight months or so nine it months. On their ages. And their ages, and then it wow. depends on their body weight. So wow. body weight is much important in animal selling. So telling somebody how much you sell the animal, your animal can be ten months, eight, ten years old, and if the animal does not have body, someone will have animal that is let's say seven months seven old. Months. And then when you look at the body of the animal and then compare to that uh, of yours that is ten years old. It's not it's right it, to my yeah. So <laughs> so okay. so that young animal will be very costly very, very than, costly than, than so the animal. As, as an animal do you face any challenges at all? There are there are there are a lot of challenges in animal rearing. And then because before you even go into that you should anticipate that there should be in every life automatically you have an obstacles to face on the way. So we have a lot of challenges. A lot of challenges. It can. The, some of the challenges can be bad uh, weather. Bad weather. When the weather falls, as a farmer, automatically you have a lot of challenges. And then uh, some diseases too can also come. New diseases day in day out. Diseases we keep uh, counting different types of diseases. So if they are they come for the first time and then you don't have knowledge as to how to handle it before you realize and you are the first person it is attacking your animal you are not lucky you will you will be a victim and then probably others will learn from you and then when it goes <laughs> into their farm then they will be okay because okay. i have experience in several <laughs> okay so animals they are medicine is this so expensive is it expensive yeah. some of them if you want to do everything lies on quality if you want and they want something that is quality of okay. course there are animals that are very very expensive and very very efficacious to very good when you buy them you don't regret but if you want things that are cheap probably you go and then you a treatment that's supposed to be done once you go and do it with cheap and then you do it three times four five times and it, the cell the sickness will not go wow. but if you want to use money to look for proper drugs mm. we have the drugs in different categories and drugs are from holland for some from china and then uh, it depends mm -hmm. so when you look at the drugs and then you look at the price of the drugs look at the effect effectiveness of the drugs mm -hmm. that one will tell you that this is actually this is the type of drugs i should go in for oh, that is why nice. i'm saying this one it is because the, the backbone of every rare is his or her experience because okay. we take the experience of the rare to be the speed of 
the animal is, is, is movement as far as rearing the animal is concerned. That's very nice. So, I want to ask, are you ready to help anybody who is ready to go into this business? Of Maybe if the person wants to start, but the person doesn't have a capital, are you ready to help the person? Of course, it depends. That one depends on, you know, uh, sacrificial and then a dedicated the as, as far as uh, if indeed the person is dedicated and then uh, because some people it is the notion behind their coming tells you that actually they are de dedicated some people it is like they want to come and then they think they will get it on the silver platter and okay. then go so by if you the, the person comes and then you assess the person and you look at the person that indeed the person is serious the person tries hard to hope and then do certain things. In the end, if the person actually needs help, you can equally help the person and then you uh, allocate the person at the right place and then the person starts with the experience he has gotten from you. Nice. So you don't mind me sharing your contact to anybody who wants to at least get in touch with you or your Instagram page? I don't indeed have any problem with that. Okay, that's nice. So what advice do you have for our young African watching us and want to learn something about this? Uh, what I want to tell each and every one is, it is like at times, my problem is some people are there and then they always believe to complain that there's no work, there's no work, there's no work. <laughs> it is not advisable as somebody who is as um, strong as I am and then the other person will complain. There are works all over. So all this, we shouldn't be seated handful. We, that is why I said, it is like take yourself into consideration. Ask yourself, what can I do? What can't I do? Then when you define yourself, certain things are there. And then God has given each and every one a talent to, you know, to, 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 yeah. So everybody has a talent. So if you try to look at yourself and then try to see what can I do and what can't I do, you automatically get something doing. Sure. As far as your life is concerned. So if you get something doing, automatically you have uh, something to, you know, to depend on as sure. living. Sure. So do you think young African people they should go abroad or they should invest their money here? Uh, this is this, the, 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 uh, what you are bringing is, is what I always don't go in for okay. because because me going to I see it because that some some people the treatment they give to our brothers and sisters in the as far as, as a matter of fact it is it is it is pity it is, it, when, when when we look at it 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 doesn't encourage. So, so, so I will urge each and every one to remain in Africa. In Africa. Africa, the soil of Africa is bled, is, is blessed to a point. I don't even know what to say. Even stones around, stones that are around have purpose. We can use them for, and then it will help us to live better on our soil than to go outside and then we bring all this rubbish with, and then probably. Thank you very much for coming to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, wonderfully. Mm-hmm.